Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Barsham, Yahweh Shai, Barsham, Abra Kakwadash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. And Shalom to the whole full let. It's Pai Allah from the GMS London camp. And this video is entitled Countdown. Um, really, really, what I want to harp upon in this video is the fact that the time is short, right? And um, in understanding the time is short, that you shouldn't take no time to repent and turn back onto the Lord, right? And um, just understand that if you decide not to turn back, you know, when there's ample time to do so, you might find yourself not having, you know, when you, when you when you hope to make right with the Lord, that it's too late, basically, all right? So I'm going to start off with this first scripture. This is Ecclesiastes 12, 1, and read down to verse 4. So it says, remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, all right? We're told to, we're instructed to remember our creator in the days of our youth. In the book of Proverbs, the eighth chapter, it says, um, I love them that love me. Um, and that basically um, seek me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Lucy paraphrasing something to that effect. So basically, that's that's ample time when we're really meant to turn unto the Lord. Remember, um, the Lord also remember the Lord also said, "Seek and ye shall find." All right, and um, you know that's why uh, you know and basically you know knock on the door and it shall be open to you, and that's why. I, in turn, in the book of Revelations, the third chapter, always it also said that um, I shall knock at the door, and if you, they that open that open up to me, I will enter into them and sup with them, and basically meaning the Lord will deal with you and build you up in the spirit. All right, so that's that's when it's ample time. So it says, remember now that I created in the days of thy youth, when that, while the evil days come not nor the years draw nigh when thou shalt say I have no pleasure in them alright because just because the evil days are not here right now don't think that you can put off turning to the Lord it says while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened nor the clouds return after the rain in the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong man shall bow themselves and the grandest cease because there are few and those that look out the windows be darkened Right, and this verse is really talking about all the things that we're heading into dealing with the time of Jacob's trouble. If right now over in America, you got Jacob's trouble, you know, our, our temptation more or less brewing, where you got um militias preparing with arms, and even you have Jake's preparing with arms, all right, being armed and trained, okay, to basically get into combat, and um. You know, you never know that hotbed of mess in Chicago, man. The Lord may have a, 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 a <laughs> well, I remember Apostle said it years ago that um, these niggas are going to be sent out on their last mission before they get taken out. So anyway, move, moving on, it says, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. All right, what, what, why would the sound of the grinding be low? Because when you go back to during this time period, of the time of Solomon, you would have had great millstones, right, which would grind, um, you know, um, seed or like corn or various different pulse or whatever into meal, into powder, okay, for storing or different making of foods, all right. So basically, saying the sound of the grinding low. What does that? What does that indicate? A lack of work and also a lack of bread. Right, and even the fact that it's a great millstone as well. I mean, you could even say that's the sound of the word going out there as well. Right, so that's the time when you won't have and you won't be able to hear the great millstone, okay, because grinding will be low. Right, there won't be no word to go forth. But it says, um, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the doors of music shall be brought low. And that's what's happening right now, music is bring, being brought to a cease. Okay, remember it says in the book of John, when he speaks to the wicked scribes and Pharisees, uh, they shall seek me, and where I go, you will not find me. And they didn't understand that. He was talking about going to see the, the other tribes across the pond. But anyway, I want to show an example of, 
you know, seeking the Lord and him not being found, you not being able to find him or of it being too late. So this is Luke 13 and 1. I'm going to read down to verse 5. It says, There were present at the season some that told him of the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. Right? So imagine these people, these Galileans were basically presenting a sacrifice unto the Heavenly Father. Right? I'm extrapolating. But um, when they did so, Pilate basically killed, they were was, they was slain, presenting the sacrifices unto the Lord. Right? And this is what Yahusha had to say to it, said, had to say about it. And he said, and Yahusha answered and said unto them, suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things. Right? So he said, like, do you think these Galileans that were being sinners were the highest level of sinners in the whole of Israel? Or had at time, it says, "I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish." Right? Job three and seven. It tells you um, about who, who. I think it's four and seven actually, where it says, um, "Who perished being innocent, or when was the righteous cut off?" Okay, so basically, um, Lucy paraphrasing that. Um, look. They didn't repent. You gotta repent because they weren't even the worst of sinners, but they suffered such a death. So that should basically warn you that if I'm worthy to suffer a worse death, that I, I should be on point, all right? Least that happened to me, okay? So it says, or oh, those 18 upon whom the tower of Siloam fell and slew them, think ye that they were sinners above all the men that dwell in Jerusalem? I tell you, nay. But except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. So the eighteen men that a building they could they a building collapsed no inside and they all died. But he's saying they weren't the greatest of sinners in of all the men that dwelt in Jerusalem, but they died in such a manner. So he was he was basically exhorting for them to change. You know, no Nahum the first chapter tells you that the most high doesn't equip the, the wicked. And he basically remembers the sins. Uh, Galatians six seven, um, the Most High is not mocked for that which so a man, uh, so shall he reap. Okay, so basically you reap what you sow, and the Lord can always can bring your your sin. You always remember the Lord can bring your sins into remembrance. Just the example of the woman that um dwelled with um Elijah, with her son, and that her son fell ill, and then she said, "Oh, thou man of God." You come to bring my sins into remembrance, right? Because she obviously knew, that, you know, those obviously don't let your sins weigh you down. But you have to be, there has to be an awareness of the sins that you committed and that the Lord can always, you know, chastise you for them. You know, be of good, but you should be of good chair. But in saying that, that should make you know that I need to maintain, I need to maintain this consistency of righteousness and turn it to the Lord. I need to show my my faith by my works. Right, because remember, even King David spoke of the Lord not remembering the sins of his youth. Okay, the sins of his youth, mind you, showing you that he turned to the Lord early. Right, so I'm going to finish on this scripture. It's in Matthew 4 and 17. It reads, From the time, from that time, Yahushua began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And that's it. It's as simple as that, man. Repent. Turn back unto the Lord, Yah, Basham, El Shai, you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Hey, and if this if this word resonates with you and you don't you don't fall under the so a so called Negro, Hispanic or Native American, it, the Lord said, My sheep hear my voice, right? And um Paul said in Romans eighth chapter about the spirit um, beareth witness to our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, and the Spirit is the word of this book. The words of this book resonating with your spirit that means you're a son of the Most High Power. So, if this resonates with you, it's time to repent and get right. Because, hey, you see what happened in Turkey on the off the coast of Turkey and Greece, and you see what's going on with um, the releasing computer games that are simulating things that to happen very soon and movie trailers music videos and whatnot 
So it's the time is nigh, all right, before the gates of mercy close. So with that, I pray you edified. Say shalom.